In this demonstration, I'll show you an example on how you can use the closed interval method to find the absolute maximum and minimum values. To find the absolute maximum and minimum values of a continuous function f on a closed interval between a and b, you need to follow the following steps. You need to find the critical numbers of f in a and b, find the values of f at the critical numbers, find the values of f at the endpoints a and b, and select the largest values of f as the absolute maximum and the smallest as the absolute minimum. Let's do an example. Here we're asked to find the absolute maximum and minimum values of f at x is equal to x over x squared plus 1 in the intervals 0 to 2. Now in our previous video I did show you how to find the critical numbers so we'll use that as a starting point. To find the critical numbers you need to find the derivative of this function. You will need to use the quotient rule and the quotient rule tells us the following g times f prime minus the derivative of g times f over g to the power of 2. Now in our case this will be g and this will be f. So let's use the quotient rule for this. f prime at x is equal to g the way it is times f prime which is equal to 1 minus g which is equal to 2x times f which is x. And in the denominator you have x squared plus 1 to the power of 2. What I'll do next is simplify the top. The numerator becomes x squared plus 1 minus 2x squared. At the bottom we have x squared minus 1 to the power of 2. We'll further simplify this. And if we further simplify that, we end up with negative x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 to the power of 2. And this is our f prime. Next, you have to determine the domain. Now, if you look at this carefully, any number that you put into x will give you an output, whether that number is negative, decimal, or even positive. So moving forward, We'll next set this equal to zero. Now once again, all I'm doing is exactly what I did in our previous video to find the critical numbers. 1 minus x squared, I just rearranged this. x squared minus 1, the power of 2 is equal to zero. I'm going to solve for x. The first thing I'll do is multiply both sides by the denominator, and by doing that I end up with 1 minus x squared is equal to zero. Because by multiplying the left and the right side, well the right side goes to zero, and this side cancels out, so you're left with just the numerator. And next I'll solve for x by bringing this one over, dividing both sides by negative 1. And if we solve for x here, we end up with two possibilities. We end up with x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 1, by, because by square rooting both sides, you end up with a positive and negative version. However, this right here well, it's not allowed because if you look at our our intervals given from 0 to 2, this is out of range. So we have three important values that we need to evaluate our original function. We are on this step right here. And they told us what happens at x is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, and now at x is equal to 1. And you're going to evaluate f at each of these, and you're going to pick the one that is that is the highest and the one that is lowest to be your maximum and minimum, respectively. So f at 0 is equal to, and the function was x over x squared plus 1. We're going to set this equal to 0, and we end up with 0. Let's try f at 1. That gives us 1 plus 1. That gives us half. So, so far, this is the maximum, and that's the minimum. So, let's try f at 2. 2 and 4 plus 1 is equal to 2 or 5. 
this is equal to 0 0.4. This right here is our maximum. And this right here is our minimum. Therefore, max occurs at x is equal to 1. And the minimum occurs at x is equal to 0. And there you have it. That is how to find the maximum and minimum values using the closed interval method. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.